Hello and a good day. My name is Aina Sofia and I will be presenting our group's research poster. Our group comprises of Angelina Sangan, Adriana Vanessa, and myself, Aina Sofia. The title of our research is Music and Language and Affair. Our research objective comprises of three methods. The first one is to find out if music gives a positive impact to language acquisition. The second one is to analyze the effects of music and language on the working memory in the brain. The third one is to determine the impacts of music and bilingualism on cognitive control. Based on the findings that we have gathered from secondary data, the results have managed to answer all the objectives. The objectives being the first one, language acquisition, where Talamini et al. proved that musicians with an average of 2.5 years of training in music scored better in an ELT dictation accuracy test where acquisition of phonology abilities were being tested. In this study, Italian students were required to do English dictation tasks. The task consists of 30 unrelated concrete words and the students were asked to write down the words that they heard, which was also recorded by a native English speaker. The result shows that the students who were receiving music training performed significantly better in the dictation than students who were not. The second objective focused on the effects of music and language on working memory. Here, Fivesh and Pemmer proved that the simultaneous process of music and language in the brain, recalling complex sentences, were more difficult than recalling a list of words. In this test, 61 participants were gathered through advertising and social media. During the experiments, participants were required to focus on a blank screen while simultaneously listening to a set of music. After three seconds, a word list or a sentence will appear on the screen for the length of five seconds before stopping the music and showing a blank screen. They were then asked to verbally recall as much as they could remember of the word list or complex sentences before pressing the spacebar and continuing with the next set. The last objective focused on the impact of bilingualism and music on cognitive control. Here, the Souza, Morat Zadeh, and Weishart concluded that musical presence proves for a positive impact towards cognitive control by testing the working memory on reading span, digital span, and operation span abilities. However, the Souza et al. also commented that there was no proof of positive impacts of bilingualism in cognitive control. In this test, musicians included individuals who had at least eight years of experience playing and performing music, with also an average of 12 years of formal musical training. The bilinguals in the study were fluent in English plus at least one other language that could range from Arabic, Armenian, Germany, Hindi, Italian, Indonesian, Mandarin, Russian, and Vietnamese. In the digit span backward test, participants were verbally presented with a series of numbers at a rate of one digit per second by an examiner, and they were required to immediately repeat them back in the reverse order. In the automated reading span task, participants were required to determine whether the sentences they read made sense while trying to remember a string of unrelated letters. In the automated operation span task, Participants were required to remember a string of letters while solving simple math questions. As a conclusion, we can say that music and language are interrelated in helping language acquisition. The second one, the combination of music and language in the working memory will impact the recall of complex sentences more than the list of words. And the last one, musical abilities enhance cognitive control while bilingualism does not. Thank you.